Shalom Akim, Shalom Yasharala. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Racha Kodash, which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit in the ancient Hebrew. Also, I want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And I also want to send out a hearty Shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so in efforts to waken up the hopefully elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, this is your brother Karab from the Great Millstone here in Miami. Coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, this is edifying. Okay, now um, the title of this lesson is going to be preparing a table. Okay, preparing a table. And what I'm going to go into in this lesson is uh, to point out the fact that, um, you know, through our disobedience, okay, as a nation to uh, our power, um, one of the byproducts of that, okay, um, is uh, basically to be conquered, okay, by soldiers of whoever the ruling class is, okay? And um, now the ruling class would be Esau, Edom, okay? And... Um, that's the reason I have this image here of a uh, Roman, Roman, uh, a Roman military. Okay. And we know now that we're living in the times of the revised Roman empire. Okay. And, um, you know, the most high is not a man that he should change. Okay. And he told us this from the jump. Okay. That if you disobey me, you go to serving other gods and, uh, you know, ultimately be a disobedient. Then he would send his send our enemies against us. Okay. Now, of course, everything is is according to his will. Okay. But when you peel back the layers and you sit back and look at it, um, our power is your how about Shimia Sha. Okay. So if we're being disobedient to him, then we don't have any power. Okay. And the nations know that. Okay, especially Esau Edom. He knows that. He knows that we don't have our power. Okay. Well, I'll speak of the times during the Roman Empire, okay? And, you know, especially now, this revised Roman Empire. There's a remnant that uh, uh, have the power, or have their, uh, uh, their uh, uh, have drawn nigh unto their power, okay? But for the most part, okay, uh, here in America, 66.6% .6 of our people don't have their power, okay? So, just like in the times of... The Babylonians, the Medo Persians, okay, uh, the Greeks, the Greco Roman Empire, okay, the, 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 the Moabite empires, okay, we got conquered. Why? Because our enemies hate us, okay, and not because, you know, things that we've done to them, although we've spoiled some of those nations, okay, but simply because we have a power and they don't. OK, and that's what the Heavenly Father was warning us against. If you draw away from me, you're going to lose your power and the nations are going to seize it, man. OK, they're going to spoil you. They're going to rob you. They're going to pillage you. OK, just like they do today. OK, that's why we're at the bottom of the uh, uh, totem pole, so to speak. And the Lord also prophesied that will happen as well. You shall be the tail and not the head. And it's all through our disobedience. OK. But the reality is, uh, uh, the more things change, the more they stay the same, okay? So guess what? Our people are setting up to, to, to prepare that table for that troop one last time. And it's going to be the worst of all, okay, according to the scriptures. What's that, Daniel 12, Revelation 12, 12, you know? And, and our people just, you know, are, are totally complacent to the fact of the matter, okay? But, hey, the most high, the scriptures say they shall know after death by pain, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into this lesson. And Lord willing to certify, this is, um, uh, what do I want to start with? Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 1. Um, yeah, Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. It says, the thing that hath been. It is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun, okay? And that's just the process of the Most High continue to be the same and not being the author of confusion, okay? And that's why in Romans, the book of Romans, the 15th chapter, it says what? 
uh, 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 all things written aforetime are written for our learning. Okay, so that through the 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 the, the, uh, the scriptures, okay, in times of trouble we may have comfort. Roughly paraphrasing, okay. But our people have totally ignored that, man. Okay, and they, oh man, the Most High has them lined up in that sight, man. You know, and he, he about to crush Jake. Okay, because hey, it, it's been too long, man. It's been too long. Like <laughs> Captain Lawyer says, man, the only obvious, uh, 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 you know, reaction is to put them to death, man. Okay, because they gone backwards. They, they, they're perverse. They're more perverse than the nations, man. Okay, so you can imagine how the Heavenly Father is feeling. Okay, it says the thing that have been, it is that which shall be. Okay, guess what? We've been disobedient. We went away from the Heavenly Father. He sent the troop against us. Okay, uh, especially in the time of Judges, man, it, that is put your send your head in a circle reading the book of Judges, man. You know, Jake will reform, okay, will sin, go off, go into captivity, okay. The Lord will send a judge, they will reform, <clears throat> and then that judge would die, and then they would go right back to their wickedness. And this has been going on since our inception, man. Okay, so you can only imagine how uh, mad the Heavenly Father is, man. The thing that have been, it is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. Okay? So the Most High is going to constantly have that cycle. And not just with that, with everything else, man. Okay, that's why he said, the scriptures say he's not the author of confusion. And basically, he was saying that about the prophets being subject unto the prophets. You see? That's just the way that the Heavenly Father operates. Okay? In the same way... Same thing with punishing our people, okay? And guess what? <laughs> uh, 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 like the elder apostle Gabar says, repetition is the father of skill. So you niggas want to be hard-headed, you don't want to get it, so he's going to constantly kick your ass until you learn, okay? And eventually that's what's going to happen. When we get in the kingdom, there will be no more sin, okay? And obviously that's going to be by the doings of the heavenly father, okay? But the ass whoopings we have taken okay, can manifest why the children of Israel are going to be perfect in the kingdom, man, okay, especially after this ass whooping, it's going to be paramount, man, okay, and that's why the men that are sincere, okay, and ultimately the men that he's chosen have gotten out of his way, man, why, because we know the terror of the Lord, okay, that's what persuaded us to get into faith, man, okay, and that's how we teach, you know, people, oh, you're teaching fear. And, hey, a nigga don't want to hear that he's an Israelite. He don't care. That ain't lucrative. Okay? That ain't putting no money in his pocket. He ain't getting no women because he's an Israelite here in Babylon. Okay? You got to tell him how the Most High is going to torture and terrorize him and his family, man. Okay? And if he doesn't get right after that, then it ain't for him. You see? Meaning what? He doesn't believe in the higher power. Okay? This is Deuteronomy 28. And uh, matter of fact, I'll read 15, okay, to set the premise. It says, uh, verse 28 and 15, this is basically going into the covenant that the Heavenly Father made with the children of Israel. This is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 15, but it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh, thy power, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I commanded thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Okay, so obviously we did not do what the Heavenly Father said do. Okay, and all those curses befell us. Okay, and the only good thing about those curses, well, I say two good things about those curses, they have reformed the righteous, that remnant. They have reformed us. Okay, Lord willing with those men, they have reformed us. Okay, and also been left as a sign so that we can know that we are the children of Israel. Okay. Um, now let's jump down. Let's jump down to 25. Uh, yeah, Deuteronomy 28 and 25. It says, Yahweh shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them and shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. Okay. And what do we constantly say? Okay. Uh, this is out. Uh, this message is to the Israelites. Okay, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and those that build a speckled bird that have been scattered to the four winds. You see, so the Most High is not a man that he should lie. It's an immu it's an immutable thing, man. He cannot lie. Why? Why would he lie? There's nobody above him. You see, and that's proof. 
Okay, and also <clears throat> lets us know that we're the children of Israel, man. You see? But the Most High said it, man. He said it. And this is, you know, Moses coming down. I think it's Horeb, you know, telling the people, man, this is this is the agreement that we're going to make with the Lord. You do this, okay, you follow his commandments, he's going to set you above. You don't, he's going to put you at the bottom and, and, and plague you with all these curses. And one of those curses is your enemies uh, 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 being smitten before your enemy, okay? And that's consistently happened over and over and over and over and over again, you see? Now, let's jump to uh, verse 48. Okay, so you can't, there's no unrighteousness with the Most High. He warned you. He told you, man. Okay, he told us. Okay, and that's what our people don't understand. Oh, that's the Israelites. They're the Israelites. Nigga, you're an Israelite too. Okay, but we understand you don't want to, uh, 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 you know, acknowledge that, you know, or group yourself with your nationality, okay, which is an absolute goddamn shame. OK, and, and really, you're not if you're not walking in the light of your how about Shai, you ain't a goddamn Israelite, man. OK, but guess what? The reality is you're going to be judged according to it. Why? Because we all said yay to this covenant. OK, and if we weren't particularly there, our four our four parents. OK. Who had to vouch for us said, yes, me and my family would keep the law, statutes and commandments. OK. But this is, uh, we're jumping down to 40, yep, 48. It says, therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And that's specifically speaking about the transatlantic slave trade, man. Okay. And the conquistadors coming over here conquering uh, the, the indigenous people, okay? Gad, Reuben, you know, in the Latin tribes. You see? So the most high didn't lie, he said it. He said, if you don't do what I tell you to do, I'm going to send your enemies amongst you. And guess what? Our enemies hate us. They know we have a power. They're jealous. They're jealous, okay? And if you don't have your covering, they're going to crush you, man. <clears throat> And that's what happened during the transatlantic slave trade, man. Okay. And really that was a, a recompense for, a, 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 you know, for a number of things. But one of the main things that sticks out is uh, uh, Shai being put on the cross. And, and Pontius Pilate asking, saying that I don't see anything this man has done wrong. You know, and what did our people say? Lord, let his, bl uh, uh, let his blood be upon us and our children. Okay. If we're wrong, let his blood be upon us and our children and guess what they were wrong okay and you got crushed as a people you know you got ran in 70 ad okay got ran out of israel okay and went into the interior in the northern parts of africa okay and then eventually settled on the west coast and then he sent our enemies again okay and brought us over to america's and we were crushed okay on record you know and i'm, I'm pretty sure it's more than that but that's that's a lot of goddamn Israelites, man. Uh, 90, 98 million, if I'm not mistaken, uh, 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 you know, uh, Israelites were killed just on the voyage from West Africa to America. Just on the voyage. And you can imagine how many were killed during the times of slavery. And up until this point, man, wrongfully, but not wrongfully. OK, because the Lord is telling you why he did those things. OK. And you got Jake running around like a with a chick, like a chicken with a head cut off. Why are they doing this? Why are the police shooting us every day? Because the most high said he would. They would. What's that? Romans 13. Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of the most high. Okay? And when you see these cases, these Jakes getting shot down, they all resist it. The Heavenly Father says, stop, resist, don't resist. They don't bear the sword in vain. And who he that resisted the powers uh, shall receive unto himself condom, I mean, uh, damnation. So we don't wink at that shit, man. Like, beautiful. Another nigga gets taken out. Now, of course, you get sick of seeing Esau do that shit, you know, but we know he has his day coming. It's you niggas that, 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 that need to get right, man. Okay? And that consistently, consistently 
disobey the heavenly father, man? When is it enough? Verse 49, Yahweh shall bring a nation against thee from far from the end of the earth as swift as the eagle flyeth. Okay, when you go back into uh, 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 the history of Esau being in rulership, okay, whether it was Spain, Rome, France, they all used that eagle as a symbol, man. And why? Because it's the highest flying bird. And that's who they perceive themselves as. They exalt themselves, man. The scriptures tell you that, okay? And guess what? It happened. The, the Spaniards, okay, the English, the Brits, they came and conquered us, man. It says, Yahweh shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flies, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. And what do they come speaking? English, French, okay? And when you look at our people, the, uh, specifically here in the Americas, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and those that, uh, 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 you know, that are of the Caribbeans, what do they speak? Either uh, English, a broken English, okay, in Patois, in the islands, okay, uh, uh, here in America's English, and, um, you know, uh, the Latin tribes, what do they speak? Uh, uh, Spanish, after the uh, uh, Spaniards, man, the Spanish conquistadors, you see? The proof is in the pudding. Verse 50, a nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. Okay? But all of this is to say, this is what happens when you are disobedient to the Heavenly Father. Okay? And it, and it has continued to happen. Okay? And why is the Most High doing that? Why? Because he's scourging us. Okay? And in and, and, and hopes for what? For us to repent, man. Okay, uh, what's that? Baruch, the fourth chapter, say you were sold, you were sold unto the nations because you were disobedient, not for you to be destroyed. But hey, guess what? The nations want us destroyed. Alluding to Psalms eighty-three, block them out from being a people, man. You see, that's why the Lord was warning us. Okay, because the hey, they, and you see it, man. Everybody points the finger at, 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 at Jake, man. Okay, being the the, 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 the reason for everything, like this damn devil Joe Biden, <laughs> sleazy Joe uh, Schleiden, uh, made a comment saying, hey, America is doomed not only because of the African Americans, but uh, uh, a Caucasian, the European Caucasian is, is, is going to be, uh, he said in 40, uh, 2040, 20 years from now, which we don't foresee at all, okay? <laughs> Uh, by year 2040, okay, the uh, uh, Caucasian white is going to be uh, uh, of the minority. Who gives a shit? And you already are, okay? But he also said, oh, and the Latins, they're more of them than you, than you Negroes. You see? Everybody points the finger at us, man. The children of Israel. You see? That's why we need covering, man, a protector. A savior. This is uh, Judges chapter 2, verse 11. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of Yahweh and served Baalim. Baalim. Okay, and that's, uh, you know, the word by all means Lord, and uh, the limb makes it plural. Serve uh, uh, other gods. And they forsook Yahweh, the power of their fathers, which brought them out of the land of Egypt and followed other gods of the gods of the people that were round about them and bowed themselves unto them and provoked Yahweh to anger. You see? And like I was mentioning earlier in the book of Judges, this is the second chapter, man. Okay? And this is during the time of, uh, uh, well, this is after Joshua died. Okay? And pretty much that generation that was with Joshua died. Okay? And what happened? Where there is no oracle, okay, or vision, the people perish. And that's what happened. You see, verse 13, and they forsook Yahweh and served Baal and Ashtaroth. Verse 14, and the anger of Yahweh was hot against Israel, and he delivered them into the hands of spoilers that spoiled them, and he sold them into the hands of their enemies round about so that they could not any longer stand before their enemies. You see? So that's the main way the Most High punishes the children of Israel, man. And has punished the children of Israel and will punish the children of Israel, the ones that are reprobate and that are disobedient, man. Okay? 
And the proof is in the pudding. And look, we're here in Judges. We read that in Deuteronomy that he would do that. And he's done it. He's continued to do it. And niggas, hey, niggas, hey, the scriptures say he that is often rebuked hard in his neck. And that's what our people have done to the point where they don't want to hear it, man. You can read it out of the Bible. You shouldn't eat pork. This, that. Oh, I thought that was for Muslims. You know, but I got to have, I had one female tell me, I told her, hey, you know, sis, that crap, man, you know, of course, you know, I, 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 I made mention that the Lord said not to do it, you know, but I just broke it down. Like, look, and then I showed a video of, uh, 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 some gooks putting the crab on the grill. And I mean, a billion worms came out that bitch, man. You know, I showed her that and I told her, look, man, this, this is, this thing is full of parasites, man. You know, and it's really not food. And she said, yeah, I hear you, but I, I got to have my crab legs. I got to. I said, well, hey, bon appetit. <laughs> bon appetit, man. Okay? But in time of tribulation, the Lord going to laugh at you. He going to mock when your fear cometh. Okay? Because you had to have your crab legs. You see? Um, verse 15. Whithersoever they went out, the hand of Yahweh was against them for evil. As Yahweh had said, and as Yahweh had sworn unto them, and they were greatly distressed. You see? And that's the catch. We made an agreement. We said, yea, Lord, we would do what you say. Okay? Meaning, you broke a contract. We broke a contract with the Heavenly Father. Okay? So, hey, and we have felt the, the brunt of his wrath forever. Okay? And forever simply meaning a long time, man. A long time, okay? But the, the mindset should be when is enough enough, man. Okay? And for those that, that righteous remnant, okay, that the most high has poured his spirit upon, we, we're professing that. Enough is enough, man. Okay, like the brother Ramak Yum Yan says, man. Hey, wickedness is played out, man. You niggas still want to be wicked, man. Everybody doing that shit, man. Such a set, be set apart, be holy. You know? But hey, a nigga, a nigga ain't gonna ever be set apart okay he gonna follow a multitude to do evil this is uh isaiah 65 and 11 it says uh but ye are they that forsake yahweh like we just read in judges you see so the, it, the saga continues okay this is during the time of isaiah and now we're living in the time of uh, ado the, the, the the return of our lord Okay, the year of our Lord. And you niggas are worse than you've ever been. Okay? It says, but ye are they that forsake Yahweh, that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for that troop, and that furnish the drink offering unto that number. You see? It's to the point where you're preparing the table for the troop, man. Yeah, come on in. The Lord ain't, ain't ain't got the angels encamped around us. We wicked as shit. You guys come on in and do what you want. You know, come and rape, rape, rape uh, uh, my wife, my children. You know, put us to death. You know, like come on in. Hey, we're used to it. It said, therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, you did not answer. When I spake, you did not hear. But did evil before my eyes and did choose that wherein I delighted not. You see? So guess what? The Heavenly Father is going to choose what you delight, what you don't delight in. Okay? Which is absolute slaughter, man. And it's going to be the word. Hey, transatlantic slave trade, that was, that was slaughter. Okay? 70 AD was slaughter. The conquistadors slaughtered Jake over here, man. And the Lord said, it's going to be the times of Jacob's trouble like never before. Jacob been in trouble since his inception. Exodus uh, 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 in Egypt, that was harsh, man. We got crushed. Crushed, man. But the Lord said, nah. Mm -mm. Jacob's trouble, baby. Everything else prior to that was pretty much Disney World. This is the creme de la creme, man. And rightfully so, man. Okay? Rightfully so. Um... Verse 13, therefore thus saith Yahweh with power, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Okay? So not only are that true is that troop gonna come in and rape, rob, and pillage you, you people ain't gonna have nothing to eat. Okay, you're gonna be mourning, you're gonna be witnessing your kids dying. Okay. 
And nothing hurts more, okay, than to witness just, hey, and people say it now, you know? People say it now, you, you, you know, you shouldn't have to bury your kid. You know, what, what, what scripture is that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And the reality is we've been doing that as a nation forever, okay? Why? Like it says in uh, uh, Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, okay? Uh, uh, roughly paraphrasing, since you have rejected me, I shall reject your children, you see, and that's how the most high likes to get down. He ain't he gonna hit you where it hurts, man. Okay, since you wanna play with me, I'm gonna hit you where it hurts. Your pride and joy. You see? <sighs> enough is enough, man. Okay, and that's that's how the Heavenly Father feels. Wholeheartedly. Enough is enough. You niggas don't wanna get right. I'm finna bring high holy hell, the highest holy hell that has ever be, uh, befell a people, man. Okay, this is uh, 2 Ezra chapter 16. We'll close out with this one. 2 Ezra chapter 16. I'll start at 17 because this is pretty much, this is Ezra's reaction to what the angel was showing him about the times that we're living in, man. Okay, verse 17. Woe is me, woe is me. Who would deliver me in those days? So, Ezra saw so much destruction in hell during the times of Jacob's trouble. He like, damn, I'm fucked. Excuse my language, but I'm I'm done. I'm through. And this was a man of God who an angel was dealing with personally, man. But that's how much carnage and death he saw, man. Verse 18, the beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils, what shall I do when these evils shall come? Okay. Now, brothers have done an innumerable, uh, 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 innumerable amount of lessons breaking down. Look, we're not in that spirit. We're not in that woe is me spirit. You know, now Ezra was. Why? Because he didn't, he didn't have a clue. See, we, we understand the entirety of the scriptures. That's why we proclaim, okay, and can prove that we have 100% truth, okay, of the scriptures. Okay, because that's the only thing that matters. We don't have 100% truth of DNA and, D, uh, 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 you know, carbon dating. We don't believe in none of that shit, man. We believe in what's in the scriptures. And we have 100% proof of that, man. Truth of that. It says, uh, yeah, and like, like I was saying, you know, we're not in that spirit. We understand. Look, don't worry about it. The Most High is going to deliver those that believe in him. Okay. But Ezra didn't know that. But the point is, he saw that hell. He saw it. You see? Verse 19. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish. And all of these things have happened to us over and over and over and over and over and over again. Okay? And it's basically uh, uh, um, perpetuated by men. Okay? Of course, the Most High is controlling those men. Okay? But like they're doing now pumping all this money into the economy eventually it's going to collapse okay and what's that what's that going to create food shortages which creates what famine people losing their jobs no trash pickup it's going to create plagues you see now of course the most high is doing all of these things but there's a manifestation behind it you're going to see how it happens okay behold famine and plague tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment you see? So that's why the Lord's been doing that, chastening us as children and not as bastards. <sighs> the scriptures say the nations, hey, they're not in trouble like other men. You know? They're not in trouble like us. They eat and do whatever the hell they want to do. Now, the most the scriptures tell us the judgments are harsh against the heathen, you know? But fuck them, man. You know, the most high has been scourging us to amend our ways. And you niggas are, be get, are, are becoming even worse, man. Okay? Verse 20. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. And that's a damn shame. But hey, the biggest ass whooping of all time is coming. And you niggas are going to get it right. That's a guarantee. Not from me. From the Heavenly Father in the scriptures. Okay? So uh, I believe I hit the point. And Lord willing, I was edifying. With that, I say shalom.